Uh, my name is Tad Turnquist. Uh, I'm a lecturer in the Department of Kinesiology. Uh, the course that uh, you see is KINS 294, which is Anatomical Kinesiology. So uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to start off by looking at one of the primary components of the vertebral column that gets a, a great deal of attention due to uh, a number of pathologies that occur at this region. The anatomical Kinesiology is uh, a course that all kinesiology majors take as one of their first courses in the department and it is a prerequisite for some of the other core courses, uh, KINS 304 and KINS 308, which are biomechanical kinesiology and uh, exercise physiology respectively. This is the intervertebral disc and there's two primary components of the intervertebral disc that we'll look at today. This department is composed of a lot of different subspecialties. There's anything from athletic training to other rehabilitation science uh, components like pre-physical therapy, pre-chiropractic, um, as well as uh, other uh, specialties like human performance or physical education. And, and so when we talk about a lot of these, um, uh, these anatomical variations, they can directly relate to the courses that a person's in. So if you're learning a new exercise, for example, in a human performance class, Hopefully you can understand the different motions or the different joints at which these motions are taking place and also understand the different anatomical variations from person to person that may exist and how you can make certain accommodations for those individuals based upon your knowledge of anatomy. If you were to look all the way up at the cervical column, and for those of you in the back, you may have to come down after class to look at this a little bit closer, but there's articulating processes that are pointed more or less in a flat upward uh, direction. As you work your way all the way down to the lumbar region, notice that these processes are actually angled more so in a straight line in the sagittal plane. Okay? And so as you work your way down throughout the spinal column, there's, there's slight movements in that articulating processes that allow for specific types of motion. In the Department of Kinesiology, what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, give you the experience, give you the knowledge to take with you into the field that you can ultimately help somebody achieve their peak movement patterns or peak efficiency during movement. In other words, we're trying to ultimately affect people's lives and how they move and ultimately uh, uh, carry with them a number of different things and, and this course is specifically designed to hopefully give them the anatomical basic understanding uh, uh, of the components of the body, the components of the musculoskeletal system that will afford us the ability to move. Excessive extension of the spine would be prevented by the bony processes as well as some of the ligamentous support. The excessive flexion is going to be uh, specifically determined by the tautness of the supraspinous and the interspinous ligaments. My hope is that we can have each student have a better appreciation for the musculoskeletal anatomy and how it relates to the other uh, uh, other primary classes within this department, specifically Kinesiology 304 and Kinesiology 308, which are anatomical uh, or biomechanical uh, um, kinesiology and exercise physiology, respectively.